Yo guys, what's up? How's it going? Hopefully you guys went back and you saw the video for setting up this account on public. It's a new trading platform. It's not new, but it's different. It's a new new trading platform to me, right? It's different than Robinhood. Um, it's different than Webull. It's different than other ones. So this is a little bit more of a social aspect, right? You can see... Uh, you can see things that are trending. You can see people's comments. Uh, so what I'm going to do today, I put my initial deposit in. All right. You can see you can follow people. You can look stuff up. Um, so it's right here. So Electromechanica Solo. If you guys don't know anything about this company, let's look at the chart. <clears throat> so this company was really popular. Uh, back when it first came out, then the stock kind of went down. They didn't execute very well. Uh, okay, so they've been up and down. They've been as low as a dollar or something, 97 cents, and they've been super high. Um, you can see back here, they were up to 10 bucks, right? Just like the specs. But they have a really unique concept. Okay, it's like a, it's almost like a motorcycle. It's a single seat car. Uh, totally electric. Now, this car is pretty cool. Uh, I encourage you guys to do your own research. Go out, look at some videos. Um, I've actually been actually heavily considering this car. I think I want to get one of these. The only drawback is the car is like $15,000. <clears> now, if it was like, had a price point of about $8,000, it would be a no-brainer for me. But one of the problems is the range is only about 60 miles with the uh, current solo they have other cars coming out so i encourage you guys to go look at those maybe i'll tack it on the end of this video uh you can see when you're high 13 your low is 93 cents okay i was close uh no dividends yet so that's fine you can see people have been buying people been selling i'm like okay so I believe in this car. Um, I don't have a test drive scheduled yet, uh, but there's one near me uh, within, I don't know, probably an hour drive. So I'm going to probably schedule a test drive and go test drive one of these. But in the meantime, before I commit to buying one, I'm buying the stock. So I'm going to YOLO into this with my entire account here, with whatever I've got. Uh, okay. It's a small market cap, and it can be risky, so I'm going to accept the risk. <clears throat> so I have $100 available. I'm going to YOLO in all $100. And I'm going to say, oh, it gives me 24 shares. Oh, okay. So once I do more research on this company... This is kind of like my test stock. Uh, wow, okay. Why did you invest? Oh, okay. Let's see. I am considering purchasing a solo. It is a great concept for commuters wow saving gas time because you don't have to stop at gas stations anymore and traffic All right, so there we go. That's one of the done. Posted to your feed. All right. So if you guys are on here on public, come check it out. I'm going to post it to my Instagram story too. How about that? Bam. Okay. That's cool. Go. Sure, whatever.
Uh, okay. So anyway, that's it for this video. I wanted to encourage you guys. Oh, there's my Instagram account. I want to uh, encourage you guys to go check out. So I'd like to you guys to just go check these guys out, do your own research. And uh, next I'm going to be showing you guys the car. Alright guys, here's the car. Here's the uh, Solo. So you can see, it looks like the back half of the car is missing. Right? It looks pretty cool from the front. It's got an interesting profile. Alright? You can see it's a three-wheeled vehicle. It's got one wheel on the back. And it's got two up front, which provides stability. So, it's a pretty interesting concept, and they look pretty roomy inside. So let me show you here. Here's the... Here's another car they're going to be offering. It's, I don't think they're offering it just yet. But the Tofino. So this looks like a really cool car. Okay, it's a performance sports car. Uh, it's like a little roadster. But man, it looks pretty cool. Okay, range 250 miles. Speed 125, 0 to 65 seconds. Look at that thing. That thing looks cool. It's a little high, 50k. But <laughs> electric cars are... Pretty much in that range right so you can pre-order one not not quite there yet can't af can't afford that and then we got the roadster this car is pretty cool look at this it's like an old style car look at that that's pretty awesome and it's all electric all right zero to 60 a little slower range 190 miles wait okay uh hopefully and this one won't explode into flames like a tesla oh well, see my other video on Tesla. I still love Tesla. It's awesome. All right? No, nothing against Tesla. They just get some bad press. All right? So you can see you can reserve one now. But the only problem here is it's $250. It's a little high for me. So the cost is about $15,000. And that is a little high, like I said before. The cost was like $8,000. It'd be a done deal. I'd already have it in my garage. All right, but I don't, uh, fifteen thousand is a little high. It's supposed to qualify um, for the incentives if they raise it to ten thousand. It's only five thousand effectively, and that would be a great deal. So then I would do it right away, just to get into the electric game, and that'd be awesome. You only have a range of sixty miles. Oh, here it says a hundred miles. That's even better. If it's 100 miles, that's even even better for me. That's that's awesome. Much better than 60 miles. Top speed's about 80 miles per hour, which is pretty good. It's not bad for a freeway. I mean, it's not super, super awesome. But uh, it's a single occupant. You can have HOV lane access, so that's that's awesome. So if, if you do click reserve now, it's about 250 bucks to reserve one. But uh, like I said before, I want to go test drive it. And uh, see what see what that's like before I, I commit. So, all right, uh, stay tuned. There's some other news. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be in here. Yeah, maybe it's in here. News. Uh, they just recently appointed a new CEO. Uh, they were featured in Forbes. Okay, it's awesome. Uh, they just appointed a new CEO. And hold on for that, because this doesn't appear to be in their news feed for some reason. Interesting. I'm not sure why it wouldn't be in their news feed. It's a, it's a pretty big event. So, you can see they're doing a lot of uh, marketing and advertising. I mean, I haven't really heard of them much until it popped up on my YouTube feed as a suggested video so I was like all right let me go check it out oh look April uh, 23 through 26 at the uh, transportation expo well that's pretty cool hmm all right so yeah they're doing stuff 
Uh, here's some videos here. There's, there's a lot of videos out there. They're pretty cool. So uh, hold on, we'll go back and uh, we'll look for that news. Okay guys, so here we go. So here's the news. Finally found it on Yahoo Finance. It's a, uh, so they're appointing a trailblazer, Kevin Pavlov, as the new CEO. Alright, this was announced on April 13th. So, and he's going to, Kevin Pavlov is the new COO, effective May 1st. Oh, Chief Operating Officer. Sorry, not CEO. I haven't changed that guy out yet. And hopefully this is going to bring some new life into um, Solo Electromechanica. So, we should be seeing uh, hopefully a difference. I know the stock has been languishing recently. It's been going down, down, down. Just like the rest of the SPAC, so, right? I mean, people have been bailing out. Retail investors are still going in. Seems like pretty heavy. This stock it might not be on the radar of a lot of people. Uh, that's why I want to make this video. It's like, hey, uh, Solo, it's a pretty decent company, right? Here, here we go. Here come the comments again, right? Oh, you're doing all your research on Yahoo Finance? Oh, come on. Do some real research. I know. So, but it gives me a good overview of the company. And uh, kind of tells me what they're doing. You can see they're developing the Tofino, which I showed you earlier. So, they got 10 retail locations currently. So, that's pretty cool. So, you can see they're, they're really heavily into the EV market segment, which has really been taking a hit recently. That's why I kind of looking at these guys saying, hey, man, they got a really good product. I think this will be super popular in the cities, um, especially where there's a lot of congestion. Use smaller cars. You can get through traffic easier. Uh, you don't have to stop at gas stations. It's going to be better all around. Uh, we just need to get that charging infrastructure network in, which Biden's working on, right? His, with his new infrastructure plan. So once that gets going, look out. EV's, EV's going to going to be awesome. So that's why I'm trying to get some investments into the EV space. CCIV is another one I'm looking at. Go EV, Tesla, ChargePoint. So stay tuned for some more videos on the EV space. Let me know if you're interested in this. So anyway, guys, remember, smash that like button and uh, we'll get the word out there about Solo and the EVs. And remember, subscribe to my videos for more crypto updates, investing, wealth building, and of course the daily options trade. Alright guys, thanks for watching.